Welcome to the conclusion of our virtual pinball machine build. Today, we're going to wrap everything up. What we won't cover today is the software and other settings that make this whole thing work. But I do have plans for videos of that sometime in the future. There was a lot of super professional and complicated testing that went into this project, as you can see. But I decided to leave a lot of that out of the videos for now. Let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to make a mount for the rear flashers. Flashers are these lights at the back of the cabinet that flash when different switches and contacts are hit. For the flashers, I simply used the same RGB buttons that I used for everything else, but only hooked up the LED wires. I know there are much better and more authentic ways of doing this, but here we are. First, we cut a 1x6 to the inside width of the cabinet. Then, we measure and drill 5 holes. At some point, I put the TV into the cabinet, but forgot to video it. So here's me installing the flashers instead. Here are the flashers lit up all white for testing and effect. Next, we'll install the playfield glass. I used a custom cut 1 8 inch polycarbonate sheet from a company called freckleface.com. I've ordered acrylic sheets from them before for my garage door windows. I ordered two just in case I screwed up somehow, which I did when I ordered both of them at the wrong size, forgetting to take into account the lockdown bar. So I had to trim the glass myself. Next, I had to trim the spacer that hides the flipper and nudge buttons to account for the lockdown bar. and installed it. Replacing the L brackets we used earlier with some small plywood supports for better stability. and cut and install a small support at the top part of the cabinet to help support the playfield glass. Then, finally dry fit the glass. With the glass ready, we moved on to installing the side rails. Because of the way I designed the cabinet, I ended up having to trim the upper part of the rails to fit. The angle was just a little bit off. Then some fit, and some drilling some holes.
and the side rails are done. Within the first couple days of using the pinball machine, I noticed the inside getting very warm, so I decided to put in some cooling fans. I marked the hole for the intake fan. This fan will pull cool air from underneath the pinball machine into the cabinet. I drilled a pilot hole and then cut it out. and installed the fan. Then we moved to the back for the exhaust fan. First, I installed some mounts for the fan underneath the TV mount. And finally, installed the exhaust fan. And finally, about eight weeks after I ordered it, the new custom lockdown bar showed up. So we dry fit it. then attached it. And finally, we put everything back together, starting by putting the Playfield TV back in. Then installing the Playfield glass and the side rails. And finally, the lockdown bar. And this project is complete. This was a fun project, at least in hindsight. It was full of frustration and changing plans on the fly. But in the end, I think this pinball machine came out great. Thanks so much for watching this whole series, and stay tuned for more projects in the future.